Less than two full days to go before the National Football League's labor contract is set to expire, and still there's no agreement between the owners and the players. That may mean no pro, pro football this season. But late yesterday, a judge ruled that the players have a right to some of the $4 billion in television revenue the owners had negotiated exclusively for themselves for the next couple of years. The question is whether it tips the balance of power enough to force the owners into a deal. Tom Condon is a former president of the NFL Players Association and a former pro football player. He's currently one of the most powerful agents in the game at CAA, representing, among others, Indianapolis Colts quarterback Peyton Manning. Tom is on the phone with us from St. Louis this morning. Tom, good morning to you. This morning. judge's ruling, is it a game changer? How is it going to affect the talks today and tomorrow? And maybe is a lockout off the table? You know, I don't think it's a game changer, but it, it, it nevertheless is a significant victory for the players. Um, and, and it was uh, rendered by Judge Doty. Uh, it was certainly overturned by Judge Doty. So, um, and I think that's an, uh, an, an, an important part of this, too, as far as the players and, uh, and the owners go. How much solidarity is there uh, among the players in the union? Your clients, for example, are they wholly behind what the NFLPA is doing? Are they prepared for a long lockout? Do they think a lockout is likely at this point? You know, I sense a real calm amongst the players. I think that they're, uh, they've been very well educated with regard to the issues. And, uh, and, I, and I think most of them, uh, the vast majority, have done a, a good job of preparing themselves financially. So um, I think that they're, uh, in, in case there's a lockout, I think that they're just fine. Um, but I also believe that the, the, the players in their discussions with the union um, thinks that that lockout won't occur. It, it certainly could occur now. Um, there won't be any substantial effect until September when you start to miss regular season games. Hey, Tom, Michelle Steele uh, of Bloomberg News in Washington, D.C. Quick question here. You know, your client Peyton Manning is in talks with the Colts over a new contract. What's more likely, though, a contract before the CBA expires tomorrow night or a lockout? Um, you know, Michelle, I, I couldn't contact, uh, excuse me, couldn't comment on anything with regard to the contract negotiations. But uh, I think that uh, the difficulty for the, from the clubs even signing their own players, which they're allowed to do up until the t uh, time that the league year expires, um, they're unsure as to what the rules are going to be, whether or not we can prorate signing bonuses for salary cap purposes um, from five years or the old rule, which was two years past the collective bargaining agreement. And we don't know how long that's going to be so it's uh, they also aren't are, uh, they don't know what the salary cap is going to be for next year if the, or, or even if there is going to be a salary cap so um, all the rules are up in the air and really makes it impossible for them to do anything really significant Tom there's a lot of speculation that if nothing happens today and tomorrow and the deadline passes uh, that the union will decertify itself you're a past president of the NFLPA if you were Demore Smith right now, would you pursue a decertification strategy? Is that the right route to go? Uh, I was a rookie in 1974. The players struck during the preseason, and uh, the, the strike didn't even last until the regular season. In 1982, we were out 57 days, um, longest strike in the history of professional sports at the time, and ultimately lost. 1987 struck again and lost. The only time that the players um, have ever made any any really substantial progress uh, is uh, is when Gene Upshaw decertified his own union, and they were able to access the courts and the antitrust laws. And, the, and that brought us free agency in, uh, in, in the state of the game as it is now. So you're in favor of a decertification if required? Absolutely. Okay, Tom, thanks so much for joining us. Tom Condon, co-head of the football division at CAA. He's one of the most powerful agents in the game, represents Peyton Manning, among many other football stars.